Heike, heike, heike. Hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'm going to be showing you on how to create custom particles for your Waterdo setup. Now, before we get started, though, you need to know how to set up the Waterdo SDK, which if you don't know how to do that, please check in the description below regarding how to set up the Waterdo SDK for beginners and also do some external researching on how to navigate Unity such as you know, moving your camera around and moving and stuff. So make sure that you prepare yourself with Unity and the Waterdo SDK before attempting this tutorial. But either way though, what we're going to do first and foremost is we're going to go into the Waterdo tab up here, click on new mod. You can name the mod to my particle or whatever you like. I will leave the folder setting to be by default and click on create mod. So that way I have a folder which has the part, you know, for the particle. What I'm going to then do is I'm going to right click and click on create empty and then I'm going to name this particle. Then what I'm going to do is then make sure that the position of that empty game object is set to 000. zero, zero. That way we don't have weird issues when exporting. We're going to then right click and then you're going to click on effects then particle system. And then you can go ahead and connect the particle system by clicking and dragging to the particle game object here. Make sure that the position is also set to 000, unless you know you know what you're doing and you want some certain customizations. You can go ahead and set up your settings to however you want, pretty much. You know, there is literally no limit on what settings Wadido can or can't take. Just mess with the settings however you like. But let's say we want something like this for Wadido. Then for the case of this, what we can do is we can then go ahead and click and drag this into the folder for my particle and that way we have a prefab for particle. Now make sure of course that you actually name, this is why also it's important that the game object here is set to particle, so make sure that when you do set up the prefab in the folder here, make sure it's named particle so that way it can export properly, otherwise if it's named something else it'll probably export in the wrong way. So keep that in mind. And once we have that we can go into Wadudo, then we can go into mod settings and you can set up these settings however you want depending on what you want like for crud, you know, who, who's the author, what you want for instructions or any information you want to add and stuff. So especially this is important for Steam Workshop related stuff or sharing it with clients. But otherwise though, by default the mod asset directory should be filled out if you use new mod. But otherwise though for mod export directory you need to make sure to set this up. I heavily recommend making sure it's in the, sh the streaming assets of the Wadado folder which you can see the directory right here, which you can pause. I'm going to go ahead and go to the particles folder here. So as you can see, you can have as Steam library, Steam apps, common, Wadudo, Wadudo data, streaming assets, and then particles. And you can select that folder. If you want to have a quicker access to that location, if you're still a little lost, make sure that Wadudo is already open and then go to the Wadudo editor, click on the purple paw, then click on open data folder and you can click on the particles folder from there, just like that. Once you have your mod export directory all set up, what you can then do is go to Wadudo, build mod, and you can be able to set up your particle from there so that way it can go directly into Wadudo. And then once you have your particle exported, what you can then do is go into Wadudo and you can be able to go ahead into the blueprints. You can then go ahead and load up a throw prop at character node like this. And then you can actually have it where when a prop hits your avatar, let's say I want it to be, let's say this chicken here that wants to hit me. I can actually then go to preview gallery and I can see that my particle is right there. So that way when I get hit, it'll be able to actually load the particle like so. You may want to change your settings though, so that way the particle isn't to infinity. I will let you know like that. So you may want to change the timing of your particle depending on what you want. But otherwise though, that's pretty much at least in a nutshell on the particle, at least for the sake of throwing. So instead of an impact particle, what if we want to be a particle prop? Something that we can attach to our character that stays there forever. So in order to do that, we're actually going to make a new mod for this because during recording, I tried to actually turn the pre-existing 
particle that I made from particle to prop and I ended up getting errors. So I'm going to actually make another new mod and I'm going to name this particle prop. And then we're going to make a new mod. Then what we're going to do is we're going to right click, create empty, and we're going to name this prop. We're going to set the position to 0, 0, 0. Then we're going to right click, then click on the effects, particle system, name it wherever you want. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to leave the default settings as is, but otherwise though, you can adjust according to what you want. Go ahead and attach the particle system to the prop game empty game object here, and then you're going to click and drag this over to the particle prop mod here. Go to water though, go to mod settings, set up your settings to however you want. Make sure that you set the mod export directory just like what we did before with the particle that we did earlier, except instead of it being in the particles folder, we're going to put it in the props folder. And again, you can go into the water editor, go to the paw, go to open data folder so that way you can have quick access to this exact directory. Select folder, and then what you're going to do is pretty much go to water though, build mod, save, give it some time to export and then once that is done you're going to then go over to Wadado. The folder should pop up saying it's successful then you're going to go into your editor you're going to go to add asset add a prop and then what you're going to do is you're going to click on preview gallery i'm going to type in particle particle prop and then you should be able to have it where your particle can actually also be a prop. So you can put it on your head or something or attach it to your mall. You can even, of course, rotate it so that way, as you can see, you can do some creative stuff with your particles. So those are like two ways of putting your particle into your water dough. And again, you can even connect it with your water dough avatar, your environment, pretty much the sky's the limit. It really depends on what you want to do. But otherwise, though, I hope you have a lovely day, though, and I hope that this helps you out on creating some fun particles. And have fun with Wadado. If you have any questions, feel free to join the Wadado Discord server. We have a lot of people over there that is willing to help you out on your Wadado issues. You can ask me, of course, if you prefer me to answer any questions, though. But otherwise, you know, I'm in the Wadado Discord server. I'm there to help out if needed. But otherwise, though, I hope you have a lovely day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise though, just your support means so much to me, and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey, 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 goodbye bye everyone! I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye!